Hello everyone, Professor Hank here, and today we're going to talk about how you can convert lowercase characters into uppercase characters and back again by using two functions that are defined in the CC type header file. And those functions are to upper and to lower. So I'll demonstrate how to use those, and then I'll show you a particular problem that these functions have and how to fix that problem, how to address it. And then at the very end, we'll write a function that will take a string and convert all of its characters to uppercase. And I'll write another function that will take a string and convert all of its characters to lowercase using these two functions. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to need to do is we're going to need to include that um, CC type header file, right? So pound include CC type, right? And so this gives us access for to upper and to lower, right? Now, both of these functions are going to do what, right? So they accept a character as their only argument, argument, and then they will return the upper or lower case version. Okay. Now, what happens if there isn't an upper or lower case version? For example, what happens if you have a question mark? Well, if there isn't a upper or lower case version, then it'll return um, the argument. If there isn't, if no upper or lower case version. Okay. So that's how those things work. And let's see examples of them. So we'll start off, we'll create a character variable. Uh, let's see here, we'll say a new character. This will be the new character. And then we'll have another character variable we'll called old character, right? And I'll initialize this to uh, uppercase C. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll assign to new character uh, to lower, and then we'll pass old care as an argument. Okay, and then we'll see out new care. Okay, and it'll be helpful if I actually type that out correctly. So there's lowercase c. All right now, what would happen if we tried to pass it a character that doesn't have a lowercase version, such as a period? Well, then you're just going to get the period back, right? So you just get the argument returned. All right, so we can pass a variable, but we can also pass a um, literal, right? So I could pass, say, uppercase B, right? And uh, then you're going to see that we got the lowercase version out of it. We can call the uh, to upper function, all right? And to upper is going to work the same way, except for it's just going to be you know, converting lowercase to uppercase. Now you can see here that there is no, you know, there's no uppercase version of an uppercase B. It's already uppercase, right? So you just get that argument back out as if it were the period, right? Um, but if we passed it a lowercase uh, G, say, okay, then it's going to return uh, the uppercase version. Okay, fantastic. All right, now if you wanted to convert, now let's say that you had just one, character variable here, right? And um, we'll call this um, V for value, okay? And you assigned it, it, had a lowercase g in it. Well, you can convert that. You can say V equals two upper V. You know, we're gonna pass the V, which contains a lowercase g to two upper. Two upper is gonna convert that G into an uppercase G, and then that uppercase G will be returned and then assigned to V, thereby overriding that lowercase g. So you'll see that if I were to see out V, right? And then, you know, before we call two upper and then after we call two upper. So we just overwrote, we replaced the lowercase g with uppercase g basically is what we did, okay? Um, now, let's look at a particular problem that could crop up, right? What would happen if you tried to send two lower directly to C out? Okay, what's gonna go on with this? This is actually kind of a problem. And the textbook that we use in my class says that you can do this, but you really can't. Um, because take a look at the output, 104. Where did the 104 come from? Well, as it turns out, what the two lower function, the two upper function actually returns is the ASCII code for the character, 
right? So it's not returning lowercase h, it's returning the ASCII code for lowercase h, which is 104. Now, when we assign that ASCII code to a character variable, then C++ does the conversion, right? It, it stores that um, as a character, that, that 104. And so then when you send the, the character variable to C out, C out knows, okay, this is a character variable. I'm gonna take that integer that's inside there and I'm gonna use that as the ASCII code. I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna set, put the lowercase h on the screen. It's all fine and dandy. But by passing two lower straight to, or sending two lower straight to C out, it, none of that happens. It's the ASCII code. It's an integer that's coming out of two lower. So if you wanna do something like this, the workaround is to cast the integer that's being um, returned by two lower to a care. So if you do that, then C out's gonna see, you know, basically a character coming through, right? It's gonna see that ASCII code and it's gonna go, oh, okay, well, this is supposed to be treated as a character. Uh, therefore, I'm gonna go ahead and, and do the lookup and I'm gonna convert that 104 into the lowercase h and then print that lowercase h on the screen for you. So if you've ever worked with two upper and two lower and you're like, what the heck? Why am I seeing a number when it should be a character? Now you know why, All right? So let's finish up our lesson today by looking at functions that can convert entire strings. All right, so we're gonna write our own little C++ function to convert strings, okay? So we will create a function which I will call uh, upper and we'll pass to it a character array that will store a C string as well as the size of that array, okay? So we'll just have a loop that's going to go through the entire array. We're gonna iterate over the entire array. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna call our two upper function and we're gonna pass as an argument each element of the array. And then we're gonna take what's returned by two upper and then assign it to that same element. Similar to what we just did with the V, right? And that should convert the entire string. So let's, um, go into main and create a C string. So we'll do um, Dame, right? And we'll sign Hank uh, 2023, exclamation point, okay? We'll go ahead and pass this to our function. And what's the size of this array? It is four characters for Hank, plus four for 2023, that's eight, plus one for the exclamation point, that's nine, plus one for the null terminator added automatically to the end of the string by C++, all right? So that's gonna be a array of 10 elements. And so then we'll go ahead and display um, the contents of our character array. So we'll just use uh, something like this. We'll use a range-based for loop. And we'll just print out. Okay, and then I'll move the cursor to the next line. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how that works. Okay, so you can see that all of the characters that are lowercase versions were converted to uppercase versions. All of the characters that didn't have uppercase versions were left alone. All right, now we can also do the same thing with two lower, all right? So same thing, all right? So we'll call lower here, lower name 10. And then since this is a C string that's being stored inside the character array, I can send that straight to C out, right? This is the exception with um, arrays. Okay, when it when you're storing a C string, then you can send an array straight to C out. And so you can see now that everything that had a lowercase version um, was converted and everything that didn't was left alone. All right, so now you know how to use the two upper and two lower functions and you know how to fix a weird bug that happens with it and how to write functions that utilize these conversion functions. Okay, so that's gonna bring this video to a close. If you're a student of mine, you have questions about any of the topics that were covered in this video, feel free to drop me an email, stop by my office hours, or hit me up 
on Zoom online. For the rest of you, if you thought the video was useful, please consider giving a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked, you got the thumbs down button as well. Consider supporting the channel in various ways. You can subscribe, you can join as a member with additional perks for as little as 99 cents. Leave a comment, whatever. But most of all, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.